All right, what's up everybody? <laughs> Matt Modai here. And what we're gonna do in this video, I'm just gonna teach you how to place a round robin bet on FanDuel. One thing that I've been doing for this baseball season is placing a lot of round robins on my favorite home run picks. And there's a lot of confusion about how to place these round robin bets and what to do when there are two players in the same game that are in your round robin bet. So I am just gonna teach you very quickly how to place these bets. And I'm going to show you what to do when there are not two players in the same game versus when there are, when there are two players in the same game. So I'm just going to pick seven random guys because that's what I've been doing, these seven-leg round robins. So let's go with Jose Ramirez to hit a home run. I know this part is going to be a little monotonous, but I actually want to go through the entire process and not cut anything out so you can see exactly what I do. So we're going to go with Gunnar Henderson, who's been ice cold at the date of this recording and then let's see, Marlins, Rays. How about a Brandon Lowe? I've cashed a dong on Brandon Lowe before he came through for us. So I, he holds a soft spot in my heart. Yankees, Phillies, we all know Juan Soto is going to mash one off of um, Aaron Nola. So what's that? Four. We're going to go this game. I actually did have someone in this game. We're going to go with Rafael Devers, who's definitely hitting a home run in this game. So that's five in the Twins game. We're going to take Royce Lewis to hit a home run because he's been a machine when healthy this year. And now we're gonna go with a player in this one. Someone I'd like for bases, not for a prop, is Brian Reynolds. So all right, we see on the right of the screen here, seven leg parlay. What you wanna do is click this round robin button here, and then it puts them into round robins. Now you can play them. So, okay, one thing, there's a couple things. Uh, first, I'm, I'm just gonna go through what a round robin is. So basically it combines all of these guys into separate, uh, separate parlays depending on how you want to play it. So buy twos means that it does every possible combination of a two-leg parlay with all seven of these guys. Now, one thing that is very, very important, you see how it says buy twos times 21. That means it's placing 21 separate wagers. Now, for me, when I do these, uh, my unit size is $100. That $100 equals one unit for me. And all I risk is 1.05 units on these seven leg round robins. So for me, you put in 0.05 units here and you see at the bottom here, place 21 bets for 105 bucks. That's 1.05 units for me. Now let's say your unit size is $10. How much should you be putting on these round robins? It's 50 cents per round robin for a total of $10.50 placed, 1.05 units. I don't play by three, four, five, six, or seven or anything like that, I just play them by two. So if I was actually betting this, I would click place 21 bets for $10.50. That places the seven leg round robin. This is when there are no situation where there are two batters in the same game. Let's say we do have a situation where there are two batters in the same game. I'm gonna show you what the difference is. So I'm gonna take out Jose Ramirez and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add O'Neill Cruz. You see how at the bottom, it went from 21 wagers to 20. That's very, very important. Instead of having 1.05 units risked, now we just have one unit risk, 20 bets for $100. Went from 21 to 20. The reason why that happened is because it places every combination of the seven legs that you have, except for the two guys on the same team. So if I wanted to play every combination of this, what I would do is I would click place bet. So I would place this bet, place 20 bets for a hundred bucks. And then what I would do is I would place another bet of just the same two guys in the same game. So I would remove everybody else. We're taking out all these guys and I'm just placing this bet for 0.05 units. So I place this bet for five bucks. That now makes it a total of 21 bets for a unit's risk size of 1.05. It's the 20 bets for five bucks each based on the seven leg round robin. And then it's this extra bet of these two. So that's what happens when you have a player in the same game. Now I'm gonna show you what happens when you have a, diff a, multi a situation where there are uh, two different guys, situation where there are guys in the same one. So I'm just gonna replay a same game play that I already placed. It's a seven bet slip of a round robin, seven leg round robin, but you see we have Rafael Devers and Duran, who are both on the same team. And we have Royce Lewis and we have Carlos Santana who are both on the same team. So you see here, play by twos times 19. I'm only having 0 0.95 units risked because they took out Santana and Lewis and they took out Devers and Duran. So what did I have to do? 
place a separate same game parlay for each of them. So this ended up being a total of three bets. It's the seven leg round robin that you see here that ended up only being 19 wagers. And then it's the 20th wager here, Devers and Duran. And it's the 21st wager here, Royce Lewis and Carlos Santana. That is how these round robins work. So if you're placing a round robin without two guys in the same game, you're good to go. You just place it as seven. This will say 21. You're good to go. If you have a situation where you have two guys in the same game, you have to place that separately. If you have two situations where you have two guys in the same game, you have to place that separately. That's how these round robins work. So hopefully this makes sense. I only play these on FanDuel because the other sports books, DraftKings and Caesars, they, they're they really weird with how they're played. So I only play them on FanDuel, but that's how you do it. Hopefully this video makes sense. If you have any questions, hit me up at my Twitter handle at Jedi Modi. Hit me up in the comments as well. And I reply to as many as I can. Hopefully this video makes sense. If you're interested in what a round robin means in general, I have a video detailing what a round robin is. So check that out. This is actually how you place one on FanDuel Sportsbook. So hopefully it makes sense. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me a comment. That stuff does help me out a ton for doing these videos, but if not, no problem. Appreciate everybody for watching and have a good one.